doing problem one from the worksheet from section 7.1 part a um, power rule so what I suggest again is to if there's a constant just leave it alone put a parentheses here um, we're gonna raise that power by one to the third power and then remember that what we do is divide by that same number so this will be divided by three I find it easier just to multiply by the um, reciprocal of that so one-third and then next term eight I'll leave a little bit of room for the constant put the t that's the first power we're going to raise it to the second power multiply by the reciprocal of that that's one half and then seven its antiderivative is just seven t and then we put a plus c on the end of that so six ne next step is to simplify these constants so six over three is two so two t cubed um, eight times one half minus four t squared 7t and c part b um, we want to rewrite these with fractional exponents so we'll do this as 15x times x to the one half power plus 2x to the one half power okay then we'll, we'll have to use our properties of exponents if we have the same base uh, being multiplied together uh, we add the power so this is the first power that's a one-half power one plus one-half is three halves so we can write this as 15 x to the three halves power plus 2x to the one-half power now keep in mind we haven't done any antiderivative yet we're just rewriting the function so we can use the power rule so now we'll do that so 15 is the constant and again we'll just put a parentheses we're going to raise that by a power by one I'm going to leave room for the number that's going to go there if I add one to that I get uh, five halves and then again the easiest way to do this is just flip that over we get two fifths out in front and then similar here leaves the two alone for now leave a little bit of room raise that by what it needs to be raised by it's one it's going to give us three halves and then again multiplied by the reciprocal of that that's two thirds there's our plus C, and then simplify. So 15 over 5, that's going to give us 3 times 2 is 6, so we'll get 6x to the 5 halves plus, here the 2's can multiply, we get 4 thirds x to the 3 halves plus C. For part C, um, we're going to want to first write everything with fractional exponents again, and um, whenever you have a binomial or trinomial or something like that divided by a monomial the best thing to do is just to split it up so I'm gonna split this up as root x divided by that plus one divided by that and I'm gonna go ahead and also write these as fractional exponents so root x is x to the one half divided by two this is a cube root of x here so that's the same as x to the one third uh, plus one over the same thing two x to the one third Okay, then we have to use our um, properties of exponents again. One, we have a x to the to some power divided by x to some other power. We subtract the exponents, so one half minus one third is uh, one sixth. So we're going to have, and then this two in the denominator, we can write that as a coefficient. We'll write it as a coefficient of one half, and again, one half minus one third, one sixth. So that's the, the power after the um, rules of exponents been applied then plus again we can write that as a coefficient one half x now we have to write this as a power as well since we moved it from the denominator to the numerator we changed the sign of the exponents a negative one third power there okay then um, we use the power rule now so again coefficient leave it alone um, leave a little bit of room for the coefficient that's going to go here so we'll get x to the to raise that by one um, that's going to give us seven sixth power and then I have to put the reciprocal of that in front six sevenths and then plus I'll, again I'll leave the coefficient alone leave a little bit of room here I'm going to raise that by one that's going to give me two-thirds so two-thirds power here and then I have to multiply by the reciprocal of two-thirds 
that's three halves plus c and then we'll go ahead and simplify our um, coefficients six over two is three so i'll have three sevenths x to the seven sixth power plus coefficients here twos can multiply give us four so we'll have three fourths x to the two thirds power plus some constant part d we have to use the uh, rule to integrate an exponential function and that is if you have e raised to the power of a number times the variable in this case 2u the antiderivative is just 1 over that number so that's 1 over 2 and then you just copy the function remember that's what's nice about exponential functions their derivatives and integrals are pretty much the same as the function unless you've got some number up here so if there is a number next to the variable you just have to divide by that number and that's what goes in front for this one it's just a power rule so we're going to say plus four and then again put the u here raise that one to the second power multiply by the reciprocal of that and we'll just simplify this as one half e to the two u multiply the four and the two we're going to get two u squared plus a constant